We did it. 30,000 students joined 3GS journey. So much happened in two years. 3GS got a bunch of awesome updates. React Free Fiber became the most satisfying way to create 3GS applications. Many developers started their career with awesome projects made with 3GS. 3D in web has never been that great. So first of all, I wanted to say a big thank you to the community, everybody participating in the development of 3GS, React 3 Fiber, Blender, and the many libraries and tools we use today. Secondly, while all those libraries and tools are evolving, 3GS journey is also evolving. I've added many new lessons and kept on updating the old ones. The Discord server keeps growing with more than 15,000 members. By the way, big thank you to the members being active and answering questions. And today is no exception. Once again, I've updated 3GS journey with a classic dependencies update. And I've also added a two hours lesson about environment maps, which include AI to generate gorgeous textures. And guess what? The lesson is available for free for everyone. Check the links below or maybe above, I'm not sure. Here's what you will learn in this brand new lesson. First, you will learn how to use a classic cube texture as the environment map. Next, you will learn how to implement a HDR equirectangular environment map. You will then learn how to create your own environment map using Blender. You will learn how to use AI to generate an environment map starting with NVIDIA Canvas and continue the AI journey using Skybox by Blocked Labs. You will then learn how to make it so that objects don't look like they are flying above the floor using ground projected Skybox. You will learn how to create a real-time environment map. Although this lesson is somewhere in the middle of the course, I did my best to make it accessible even for beginners. And if you enjoyed the lesson but you are still hesitating to make the jump, use the 30k discount code to get a 30% discount on the course available until the end of June. And by the way, I'm already working on something bigger. Mm.